This is VOA News reporting by remote. I'm Michael Brown. U.S. lawmakers at this hour are debating the objection to the state of Pennsylvania's electoral vote hours after hundreds of pro-Trump protesters stormed the Capitol building, forcing lawmakers to seek shelter, interrupting the certification of Joe Biden's Electoral College victory. Since the proceedings resumed, the House of Representatives voted overwhelmingly to reject an objection to President-elect Biden's win in Arizona, joining the Senate and upholding the results of the election there. President Trump stirred up the protesters at a rally early Wednesday near the White House and later released a video on Twitter saying he loved them, urging them to go home, but not before his followers rushed the Capitol, some vandalizing the building. One woman was shot and killed. The circumstances of the shooting are being investigated. Washington's mayor declared a curfew until 6 a.m. this morning, and police in ride gear arrived to move the demonstrators away. President-elect Joe Biden condemned the protesters storming the Capitol building, calling the action an assault on the most sacred of America's undertakings, the doing of a people's business. Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris will be sworn into office on January the 20th. World leaders expressed shock and condemned the chaos on the Capitol grounds and at the Capitol as pro-Trump members rioted the Capitol building. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson described the scenes at the U.S. Congress as disgraceful. The Japanese government said Thursday it hoped the U.S. would overcome the turmoil caused by the angry supporters of President Trump. For more news, join us at voanews.com via remote. This is VOA News. Facebook and Twitter reportedly suspended President Trump from their platforms Wednesday after his supporters stormed the Capitol. Twitter locked Trump out of his account for 12 hours and said that future violations, including repeating falsehoods about the integrity of the presidential election by Trump, could result in permanent suspension. Facebook and Instagram, which Facebook owns, followed up in the evening announcing that Trump wouldn't be able to post for 24 hours following two violations of its policies. The White House did not immediately offer a response to the actions. National Urban League President Mark Morial is among many urging lawmakers to invoke the 25th Amendment to remove President Trump from the White House in an effort to preserve democracy after Trump supporters rushed the Capitol. The 25th Amendment is enacted because Trump is deemed unable to discharge the powers and duties of his office. At that point, the vice president would assume the powers of acting president. On the historic day of chaos at the Capitol, the Democrats were securing a majority in the U.S. Senate. The Associated Press declared Democrat John Ossoff the projected winner by defeating the incumbent Republican Senator in his runoff race in the southern state of Georgia. He joins Reverend Raphael Warnock, who was declared winner of his Senate race, also in Georgia, defeating a second incumbent Republican Wednesday, giving their Democratic Party control of the U.S. Senate. The Democrats already controlled the House of Representatives. Their victories give Democrats full control of Congress, ensuring that President-elect Joe Biden and Democratic lawmakers can easily enact their legislative agenda as he takes office later this month. President-elect Biden is tapping Merrick Garland, a federal appellate judge whom Republicans snubbed for a seat on the Supreme Court in 2016 as the Attorney General to lead the country's Justice Department in his new administration, according to Biden's aides. If confirmed by the Senate, Garland will immediately face one politically sensitive case, a current criminal tax investigation into Biden's son, Hunter, as well as demands from some Democrats to pursue investigations into Trump's action as president after he leaves office in two weeks and is no longer immune from possible prosecution. As always, for details on much more news, we invite you to join us at our website. That is voanews.com. Also, on the VOA mobile app, via remote, I'm Michael Brown, VOA News.